Hi guys, Andy here, and welcome to episode 12 of the Sibling Rivalry. Uh, it's not going to be a long one tonight, it's, it's half 11 already. Uh, we're going to try and get an hour in, and my brother's here, so let's crack on. Uh, yeah, last session, mental breakdowns, left, right and centre. Fingers crossed this hour will just make me feel better, because we won't be able to play this for a couple of days after today, so... Yeah, so I really want to get a few good, decent performances under my belt before I, uh... Yeah, sorry, um, I'm playing around my formation, I'm trying something new. I'm going for it. Um, <laughs> which I know you lot are probably like, oh, for fuck's sake. But, um, yeah. Hopefully we get some better performances. I'm sticking with the hard tackling, see if that makes a difference. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. He looks better than I've seen him for a... Many an episode or many a many a uh, update. Play. Go on, Brighton. Yeah, I um, I really wanted all English teams, including Man U, through to Champions League. In and I still feel like that way to agree to to a degree. But after the stick I got off Man United fans at the weekend, I can't say I wasn't laughing my ass off when you got on out. So. Apologies, but yeah, that's the way it goes, I guess. Um, yeah, a few people are telling me that um, yeah, the way I'm trying to get the game to work doesn't work that way. You just have to go attacking. Uh, a friend of mine, Ray, is trying it, and yeah, I, I get the frustration. It is very frustrating. And I put up saying, yeah, you're getting champ man, just the same. And I'm like, I get I'm getting done in this one. Like, I, but I don't know why, because it doesn't normally happen. Um, so I don't understand why it is happening in this one. But I think it just wants to uh, make me look like a complete dick. So I'm not giving up. I'm persevering. Because ultimately, when I get, get what I want, I know that I have the capacity to go unbeaten all year, potentially. Whether that happens or not, I don't know, because I may have a bad game where people just let me down or, you know, I let in a stupid shot or whatever. You can't, but I just know if I go attacking, it's definitely going to happen where I play really well and then I get done with a chat man. It's just going to happen. So that's that's the alternatives. And yeah, uh, I've listened back to my video yesterday and I look like I'm having an absolute nightmare. And I may have overreacted at certain points, but I just I don't know, I had the right time. So, yeah, sometimes I think, oh, fuck it, just play attacking, it's easy, it's going to win, but I can't give up. I've got to, sh you know, I'm a stubborn bastard, I've got to prove my point. And whether I can with this team or this keepers, I don't know, maybe I need new keepers. Um, yeah, so his first team, who's in goal for me at the moment? It's Carrius. Oh, that was a good performance. Who? Um, oh, yeah, I looked at him, but... Um, yeah, he's not holding the fielder, really. He's got no defensive stats, really. Tackling, positioning, marking a ball. The rest are phenomenal, but uh, he's more of a centre mid and he's one-footed, so I don't know why. I'm a... He's a kid, I suppose. Uh, my brother also said, uh, I forgot to mention, he's got him coming on a free. He's a very nice defender. He lacks aggression and he lacks a bit of technique, but he's generally a really good defender. Anyone else... Uh... I think the rest are just kids. I knew about him. Leno, yeah, I knew about him, but I'm not, not sure if he's anything. I think the rest are just pre-arranged pre kids. So, yeah, he's got another couple of good signings. Uh, I'm going for a few players, especially a uh, centre-half. Pulisic, how much did I offer for him? 42. He's got a long contract, so he ain't going anywhere soon. Um, he's got the pace. Let's see what kind of contract he wants. Ah, that's fair enough. Uh, I'm not playing. For now, I'm going to leave that. He's not going anywhere anywhere soon. Um, the reason being, I'm going to see how just these wingers work. And if I have these wingers, there are other players that are proper wingers with better technique. Because these Pulisic techniques only 16. And I'd rather have someone towards 20, like at the top end. Um, I know Pulisic is really effective. And I kind of see him more as a number 10. Woodburn. Very nice. That's really nice to see player improving. 
So let's not give up on him yet. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave that. Let's continue. Carriers, Caracol, he's Pisa. I decided to play Van Dyke and Engels is my first choice. Then I uh Keita. Anderson, you need to improve your stamina again. Arsenal, sweet. Right, uh, we're going to play Coutinho and Mane. Now, that is perfect for them. Again, I mean, I should really do this. If I want to be really tight and defend properly, then I should have my... Because look, without a ball, you're blocking off crosses and you're a really solid unit. But that's being ultra pragmatic. and Just to give myself a little bit of peace of mind so I'm not too defensive because I don't want to be defensive. I want the balance. I'm going to push them forward, which may come at cost at times, but I think hopefully it gets a few goals. I'd rather, you know, give it a try. Uh, yeah, Cardi's been really consistent this year, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Goldberg hasn't been amazing, so good ratings, but other than that, not much. Uh, Benkovic, I decided, was going to be fourth choice because he was losing out on too many battles, but the start was back, but he's on the bench three... Four Miranchuk, five Dolber, six. I'm gonna go Chambo, Hendricks, right, and everyone's back. Everyone's relatively happy. Uh, I've got the hard tackling cracking, yeah. Right, come on, boys. Come on. Time to turn it on. Yeah. Arsenal played out. Fuck it up. Come on, get stuck in, boys. Solid performances. Also, like I said last session, my fullbacks weren't too keen on being pushed forward. Nice. So I'm just going to keep them flat, and that may give us a bit more solidity at the back with them not bombing forward, especially if people play three up front. Then I've got that flat back four to really outnumber them if I need to. Uh, so, yeah, I really want to get the best out of my attacking players. Um, I'll put a cardi on forward runs, runs with ball, because historically I know that that works and that gets goals for a strikers. Whether or not they'll score goals, I do not know, but I know that works. So uh, I'm going to bring Desart in, put him in the hole, push the on for because we're winning and the kids are knackered. And I can keep that work rate and tackling up in midfield. Yes, who scored? Baisa. Bjorn Engels having a bit of a shit game. Uh, I've got a week off, so I haven't got to go nuts. Centre halves aren't doing that bad. I don't know why they're getting fires, but that's fuck what we'll do. Uh, yeah, people are playing well. I like it. Get 90 minutes. Better. Please, Coutinho, yeah. That's kind of why I wanted to push in there. I want to make the most out of these guys while well, they're still young enough to fucking perform for me. And that's the... That's the positions they like. So that's a really good start. I know you would probably say, well, you only had five and four. Well, they only had two extra shots right up there. We controlled it. We scored efficiently. And I never felt under pressure to concede there. And it's another change of formation, which not a massive change, but may take a little bit of time to adapt to. So good start. Happy with that. Let's kick on. I was speaking to my brother earlier. And uh, we were talking about how uh, he'd be disappointed if he don't win the league from here, and he's absolutely right. So, it's massively disappointing from my point that I've given him that lead. Uh, well, I say I've given him that lead. The computer's fucking given him that lead, but um, it is what it is. So, all we can do is keep the pressure up, keep winning games, and hopefully from here on out, we can uh, play better and, yeah, just be more consistent. Hopefully, keep clean sheets as well as scoring, which is the balance for all. Looking for what could have been reached. Um, absolutely. He's got a lot of potential. I like this lad. I know determination is only 13. But it makes up a little bit without the bravery. But that position in an all-round game, I really liked. 21. Uh, 
don't know. Maybe I might need to. Uh, maybe the hard tackle that I say is all I need. Fullbacks played better, keeper played better. Centre half's got the sixes, but if you look at their stats, they actually did okay. Um, the young had a decent enough game. Look at Kater, that's so much better. The kid needs to buck his ideas up. Tino and Mane played better, yeah. Okay. To be fair, though. Arsenal are nowhere near as good as they were. They used to be in this so If I hadn't have won, I'd have had the arm. But if I hadn't have won 21, I'd have had the arm. The other question is now, now I've got forward runs, is it Akadi or Dolberg? Chelsea. I'll give Icardi a run and if he's doesn't do great, I mean I'll play him for I'll play first team for these B B team for that. First team. Yeah. Said I was gonna keep an eye on my coaches, didn't I? Just in case. I wanna see an improvement in Beardsley for sure. The fact he's only got sixteen for a Let's just have a look just in case. I know I did look before. Come on. John Collins. Why is there no players? Who are you? He's not bad at all, be a good assistant. But yeah, that's 1 2 0. Solid performance. Wanyama, bossing it. Lewandowski, super sub, but okay. Yeah, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, what the fuck, but. Trust me, I think this kid could be decent. I suppose the proof's in the pudding. The fact that he's 21, I'm not keen on. But I, I really like the, the, the uh, positioning. And the rest are all just about except for the bravery isn't. But I've seen keepers with literally no bravery in goal. Um, do amazing things. Uh, and he's just 13, so it's not in the world. And that can come up if he uh, really does progress. So we'll see. We'll put him in a reserve top prospect and uh, well, even if he's only ever a backup, he's a tidy backup. And I might try and offload um, Ward, Danny Ward, who's always unhappy. I mean, no one ever seems to want to buy. Do I do it now? Yeah, I could do, potentially. Yeah. Thing is, does anyone actually want to? Okay. How much is that for? Yeah, he's got a lot of really nice stats, and I'll be honest, that's him uh, on a uh, bit of a a low point because he's normally got a little bit more pace and height, but his stamina is low. Um, so hopefully, we can work on that. I'd like to get him in now because I think next, by next season, 
Subotic will go in the reserves as backup for a year and then he'll be released. I'm not interested in making money on old players. I'd rather have the squad depth. Um, I just think we'll really lack it in this game. And the same with Octavia, if I can get a player in to replace him. We'll leave that one for now. See how the keepers get on between now and the end of the season. And if we have to, we'll make a change in the summer, but there aren't too many good young keepers out there. Fucking hell, I got him. He rejected my brother. I didn't even offer that much. Well, there you go. So, yeah, come the summer, he'll fight with Anderson for midfield centre. And then Octavia into the reserves. Happy with that? Very happy with that. Surprised I got him. I didn't offer that much. Squad, 40 odd K. Bradford, yeah. Okay, lovely. Josh McKay, for any 25 seconds. Trust I seek and I find in you every day for us something new. Palace away. Alright. Let's go again, boys. Captain's back. Oh, come on, Icardi, you can do it, son. Yes, boy. Playing well as well, very nice. Sending off each, lovely. All right, let's take ten off. Cardi, yes, mate. Um, the young one, only because I think he's just a, more more of a battler in the field than uh, Moranchuk. Be interesting to see if they got another shot on target. Oh my god, a cardi! What I mean. Yeah, we're interested to see if they got another shot on target, only just to see uh, whether it would have gone in. I don't know, I could have a look at Karras, but his stats, his positioning has gone up, which is really nice. His decision making has gone up, so I'm oh, really pleased with the goals. Finally, uh, Mane had a cracking game. I think it was a bit average, but we played really well. Got to be happy with that. Right, who's Matt got? He hasn't got anyone. What the fuck do they keep putting us on different days? What was Saha's goal? 43. Zaha ran on mark in the area. Was he playing out front? Wait, what am I talking about? Oh, he's a fucking right back there. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay. Wow, I didn't realise how tight it was for a second. Uh, what would be like that coming in? Uh, really pleased with Anderson. It's a much better performance. Look at that from Akari. Wow. Oh, I'd love it. I'd love it to come good. Just be like the... Uh, the whole thing. If, if we start playing well, consistent, and winning games whilst playing well, it would be lovely because it just feel like everything we struggle for 
paying off, you know. Uh, I'm going to appeal it because it's free game, which is fucked up, but let's see if we're disciplined in it. Shit, looks like poor. Trip. Oh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? But, don't trip people, really, is what I tell you. Uh, how many reds you got? First red, discipline, dismissal, fire match. That's good because it would have been a bit fine, uh, harsh for a fine. I don't want to pay you that. Let's give you that. He'd be a really good um, addition. Yes. Have four goals is a record. Yes. Um, yeah, it'd be a really solid addition to my uh, defence with, um, with Subotic retiring. And it, he'll just hold down a. Really? It's a bit of a piss take, isn't it? No. Nah. Might as well watch it. Yeah, like I said, we've only got an hour. I've said it'll play 12 to us, so we've got about 40 minutes left. Nice short one. And I know a lot of you can't watch the long ones or don't have time. And a few people have told me, you know, oh, can't you do shorter versions, like a summing up? And I could, but it was my first, one of my first, the proper, it's my first proper story. I know about the six man game, but I kind of uh, want it just to be there on forever for people that anyone that ever stumbles across it or enjoys it and has the time to watch it in their own time and hopefully enjoy the the ups and downs of the game with me and my brother along the way and if they want to skip through they can skip through and stuff but they've got the option there if you want to skip through or whatever you want to do but I know myself I, I love watching um, CM games on YouTube and I love watching uh, another game one called Heroes live on um on Twitch and YouTube, and um, uh, and yeah, I probably have uh, probably spent too much time watching, but I just really enjoy watching them back because I love the games myself, and when people play them well, I really enjoy it, even when it's not me. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of content to watch, and I understand people can't watch it or don't want to watch it all. That's fine, but I wanted to put it out there because you know it's there forever, and uh, maybe in twenty years' time, I'll look back and go, oh fuck me, bro, do you remember that game we did? It's there, and we can look through it and have a laugh when I lost my shit or when I beat him or he beat me and whatever, yeah. So, yeah, I, I get it if not everyone's fell by it, but kind of just did it for myself as well, as well as putting it out there. But, yeah, that's it. I'm putting out – I'm doing a Newcastle game as well. Um, oh, hello. I doubt it will lose. He's got two minute class players. Uh, I'm putting a Newcastle game out there as well. It's going to be shorter. Yeah, there you go, Harry Kane. It's going to be a much shorter. Um, here's the problem I have with that. I'm going to try and stick to it, but I play about three or four hours of it a night. And I'm just releasing like 30, 40 or 40, 50 minutes of it every time. He, he's done. He deserved to win, but that could have gone bad. Yeah, so I'm releasing about 40, 40 minutes of it every night. So I'm having to hold back videos, which just feels crazy. But yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, try and release shorter videos so people may be able to watch it, but we'll see how it goes, really. Well, he won, and he didn't play well, so... Oh, he doesn't want to come anymore. Okay. Yeah, he's not it's not a massive rush to get him, but it would have been nice to get him in now, be a big boost for the, for the squad. And... Uh, and he would have been out of settling whilst, whilst waiting around, but it's not the end of the world. I've got the kid coming on a free, which is really nice. And I'm not, I don't care about free transfers in this. Like I say, I'm at that point in the game where I've got millions sitting around and I'm just really refreshing the age more than anything. Because Subotic is a good defender. If he was 21, I wouldn't even worry about signing another centre-half, to be honest. So I'm only signing one or two every window. Uh, the kid I got on a free is a really good player, but oh, that's... there you go, perfect. Oh, did I get twenty five percent? Boom, five million extra in the bank. Right. Who's out? Oh, of course, Nabby. That's all right. This guy kind of deserves a run anyway. So yeah, I have no fuss about frees. I should look because. You know, it's a free transfer, what the fuck, why wouldn't you get it? But it's never in my thought. If I want a player, 
I'd be looking for him already. And I'd make an offer. I, and if I wanted him then, and he had six months ago, I'd try and offer him on the cheap. Like so. so, yeah, I'm not one of these people who just waits for a bargain just for a second. If I'm skint, then ob obviously I would. But, you know, we're playing as big teams. We don't, we don't really need to be tight, to be honest, too much. I'm only tight on the wage bill because I don't want to lose tons of money. Um, but I also forget in this one that you get a lot more money given to you, relatively speaking. So, yeah, it's not a big deal. So, yeah. Strain, yeah, okay. It's only a sh I would check it, but strain neck. It's not going to be a, a recurring injury. I've never seen a, a strain neck need a recurring or need a physio. Adrian, Jesus. Did I check? Sorry. Yeah, it's at the school. I'll, I'll uh, coach. I'll get my coaches to check him out after it's been here a month or two, maybe. Yeah, I'm hoping I develop him because, like I say, I really value a position in a keeper. His other stats can come up as well, but if he gets like his position up to close to 20, it, he'll come in my first team. I don't care. Really. Leeds normally have some money, but let's see. What's the to pick up? Okay. Obviously, I don't care about getting 6 mil, but let's see what they're willing to offer. Uh, they're not secure or rich, so that's interesting. Right, this is first team. B team next game. Players are suspended, left backs injured, so if you were that. FA Cup, so a nice break from the uh, the league. Well, they're playing better than me from the start, but it's still early. And even though they're playing better, the good side is we didn't concede, which is perfect. He says, uh, 20th goal for British on Belomba, very nice. Well, we're not playing well at all. What are they playing? Uh, okay, he's playing terrible. Quite a few people, okay. Well, let's go for it then. We're not playing well, so let's go for it. I've got no problem. Even though it's not helping one bit. Yeah, what I'm... Come on, hit the goal. We can do it. Is that right? a replay in it? Not fucking extra time. There's me saving subs like a dick. But yeah, I'll wait till the end of the game and I'll make changes. Well, we didn't play well there at all as a team. We just didn't. We gave them too many opportunities. And uh, I mean, Burke's world class. Uh, ridiculously world class in this. But their keeper still got man on that show. And we didn't lose, even though we didn't play well. So it's not the end of the world. It's two centre mids at the heart of the field. If you don't do it, you're going to struggle. The young left back didn't have a great game, so. But yeah, he's going to get another uh, a little run. Stamina's gone up. Stamina's gone up. Oh, Andy's off the ball and Parsons gone up. Very nice. Really pleased. Engels, lovely. Bissart, lovely. Big stamina and gone back up. What up, bud? Uh, I don't want to see him improve again. Lady scores. What's going on, my brother? Then. Ah, uh, fucking all the red cards he gets in his game. It's only Reading. They haven't played with eleven.
and the big as he done. Yeah, pretty decent for my brother. Not bad at all. You give him 7.75. Yeah, I, I, I don't like his aggression, and I probably because of that, I'll probably spend more of a centre mid rather than a holding, but yeah, what are you do? He's hard to use them, look. Brett Sumberlamba, mate. Yeah, he's always good for a goal in this game. Like, I didn't like... I mean, I just like playing against uh, West Brom as it is. Let alone when they buy him to play up front, for fuck's sake. I'm just wondering whether I should have gone mixed passing. I mean, Tompkins has got some height, but they've given Phil Jones really crap height. And they've got Gibbs who's short. Jenkinson's average for short. So they're all 11 and 12s in height, or jumping Tompkins. So maybe I could have uh, taken advantage of that. That's all right, though. I don't mind replays because I can give my B team players who haven't actually played that much another game. So it's going to be you, it's going to be you, you. Uh, Van Dijk is staying in. Engels is not. Benkovic is not. Stubitich are in. De Jong. Uh, Marantzuk. Octavia. Chamberlain. Firmino. Dolberg. We're going to go Benkovic bench. Two. Desart, you've had a lot of injuries. Yeah, you're in. Three. Shit. It's going to have to be Anderson on the bench. Who? Oh, okay. Uh, Anderson, 25 games for Mane, 27 for Cardi, Mane, Pfizer. How long? One week. So hopefully he'll be back in time for away to West Brom again. Fucking hell, West Brom three games out of four. In. Okay, so we're gonna go B team first team, B team. Oh shit! Maybe B team, B team first team, first team. I don't know. Let's see how we get on. Sorry, my brother's got just messaged me. Two new messages. Nice signing, not bad. Oh. Oh, he messaged you. How did I not see that before? Oh, we're away to lose. Matt's got a hunt menu. Oh, he's just shown me he's got a 17 um, game. He's won 17 games in a row. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. No, I don't do all that. My phone's bad. Silly buggers. There you go. I'll take that. I tell you, I will look forward in quickly, especially on the off chance that my squad won't like it. Is oh, there's more players on here now. Oh, you're thirty. Okay, um, wingers, young quality potential on the wings. And we're looking for at least four wing determination, but we're looking for technique of at least 17, off the ball at least 16, pace 16, and balance of at least four wing. Uh, okay. And we are looking for two footed players, no one footed players. Oliver Burt would be an excellent addition, but to see what else is about. He wouldn't be bad for the top high right. He would be actually a, a fairly good option, but um, I don't need to pay less. He, I don't think we get a work permit. Yeah. Is there actually no one? It's really Easter. He's by far the best looking out of them all. West Brom are rich, so they're not going to sell cheap. 
I don't think that's going to be yeah, something I'm going to do just yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, let's, let's make it a bid anyway. See what they say. If my squad get unhappy just from selling Danny Ward, I'm going to be so annoyed. Especially as I bought in a keeper as well. So it's not like I even need him. Oh, come on, man. No. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Unfucking believable. I just know what Boris doing. He's playing. I like playing that crappy formation. We're on Dolberg. I can't believe that. Didn't I say it though? You said one keeper that you've hardly, you're often probably played him once, maybe twice. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I know I even brought in a kid with a really good prospect. And they're like, ah, don't like it. I knew I should have delayed the kid for a week. Signed, sold Ward, then signed me a kid like, fuck's sake. Right, I've only really got to keep an eye on Marantric and the left back and I. And uh, Van Dyke. Ah, the Royal Hill. Like, I could have got another goal or two. Uh, just so the away leg isn't like, you know, you can see the goal and shit yourself. Fuck, you know what I'm coming into this? Well done, lads. Good all round performance. And even the keeper stood up when needed. Begovic still got a fucking 9 though, didn't he? But yeah, can't grumble. These stats have gone up. Oh, very nice. He's enough pushing me to play him. Oh, I'm pleased to be giving these guys games. Oh, Lady scores. Armour oh, has got Chelsea. Wow. It's just gone 2 2 1 up, yeah. Oh, either way, it's going to be a tough final. Obviously, I'd love to give me a brother just because that'd be pretty cool on screen. I think be much more interest interesting for the both of us, or well, definitely for him if he gets through. But that's two legs. Even if he don't win this one, he's got to take him to his ground. He'll spank him. Not a bad player. Certainly not a defender with tackling a nine. He's still only nineteen, but he needs to progress a lot. And he, I wouldn't even call him a midfielder with a work rate of 12, so maybe a fullback if he can get his tackling up because the rest isn't too bad. Yeah, another good thing, another reason why I moved these from the front run because a lot of people play three at the back uh, in, this, in this game as well. And that just kind of plays into their hands. So I figure, you know, if they've got fullbacks or wingbacks, either way, hopefully this will take advantage of it. And like I said, I'm giving nearly all my chances to my striker. Look, eight, eight chances. Yeah, I know we play really well, but he had the majority of them. So he's going to score goals. It's not, it's not like he's having a couple and he may not score a couple. He's getting all my chances. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> He didn't win. The, he, he just got a thing about it. he's won 17 games in a row, and he's got and the run ends karma. Yeah, that's actually quite funny. Still a good run, and still unbeaten. Yeah, fucking squad I'm happy now. Solanke. Oh, he's actually looking really good. 
I'm pretty sure I gave him a new contract. But that's really nice since I rearranged my coaches. The players have all reacted in a really good way, which is lovely. Uh, I love the fact he's two-footed. He's, he's got everything I need to play in my, my position. And they've just spent a lot of money on another winger, so maybe they will sell. Um, and he's, he's British, so maybe it will be a lovely fit for everyone. What was I going to look at? Oh, he's got the Sanaki's contract, wasn't it? He's got, he's got four years. But again, I just don't like his technique. And the one footed, but and I've got world class strikers, so it's not the end of the world. Really? And there is a winger at IX who I've signed before this guy. I'll tell you what, yeah. Fucking hell. Perfect, let's wrap that one up before the window hopefully. Shit, why did I look at that before? Yeah, that, it would be a really good one to get in. I'll put him in the reserves at the end of the season and then promote and bring him up next year. Should be good enough because he's not exactly a kid anymore. God, he's really improved as we've gone along, just like Desart did. The only difference between him and Desart really is the has got better marking and jumping, but his jumping would improve with his so when his stamina goes up. But he has the capacity to be a phenomenal midfielder. And to have got him at such a young age. Come on, go through. Please don't delay. So like Kay's pretty good, it will rush things through on the last day if I'm hoping it does. I'm hoping it lets me have this guy and it settles my squad again. Because he's the, exactly the kind of future player I need. Don't do that. Don't delay it. Don't delay it. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I will still go back in for him and I'll get him. Oh, yeah, well done, bro. Rit Sombolomba, there you go. <coughs> Someone I've never heard of. We don't look too bad. Got potential, um, but it's not going to be good enough. I'm delighted with that one. Norwegian. Liverpool have a nice history of Norwegians. So, uh, yeah, delighted. Pacey, two-footed, work rate technique. Left, yeah, it'd be lovely. It'd be a uh, future behind Coutinho. Um, so, probably means I'll offload Chambo. I know I've got this kid as well, but he's sort of stagnated a little bit. He's a good player, but he hasn't kicked on as much as I hoped. Really pleased with that one. No long term injury. Who? Some kid. Yeah, I wouldn't have bothered, but. Oh, I still all that happy. It wasn't enough. The signing wasn't enough. Bugger. It is no right training, that's fine. Still, I'm still happy with that one, though. Um, yeah, don't need you on the shoulders no more. Uh, if I get him and I've got that Johnson, that is an absolute couple of quality wingers for the future. I've got Caterer's young, Anderson's young, Desart's young, and Dolberg's young, so I'll have a, a really class 
midfield going forward. Potentially. I won't, I won't lie, I've signed him a couple of times before and he's, he does struggle at times. But I'm hoping with Mane there, first choice, it won't be the end of the world. Right, this is the first team, isn't it? So, uh, if you're, as long as you're fit enough, just you keep your place because you've only just come back. Yeah, okay. Is that right? Yeah, wait, yes, yeah, fine. Okay, so we've got Van Dyke, Engels. Van Dyke's probably on playing on the left, that's fine. This are Kate is still out, so Morantrick and Anderson. Tino Mane, Icardi, even though I am very close to thinking about putting uh, Dolberg in there. Uh, Subotic, Horn, De Jong, Chambo, Dolberg, sorry, Tarver, Chambo, and Captain is the Sar. Really, um, I'm really gutted about all my players being unhappy about squad size. I'm hoping my midfield played better than I did last time because that just was not good enough and I know I do miss Kate but Moran Chuck's got some lovely stats he shouldn't be really struggling against these yes better start better start Britta Sombolo come on don't let him fucking get any space Oliver Burke oh, you're kidding me they've got a new winger so maybe they oh come on Well, that ain't all right. Come on, boys. Okay. Sorry, Cardi. I really like him, but. I think Moran the other sub I'm going to make. I literally like him, but Dolberg for that lone dribbler forward runs is really good in this. Right, Moran I think you're going to come out. Uh, yeah, you're just struggling. You're really struggling. I'm going to get someone a bit more combative than De Jong in there. It's a bit early for my last sub, but I think that's the perfect sub. Uh, and I've got a B team game anyway, so he would have come. He really needs to be fairly rested for that one. I have pressed the button to go defensive, but super teacher on a fire, what the fuck? Lovely. Played really well. Much better than the fucking cup game. Uh, a bit worried about the super teacher, but I don't, I don't think he had fuck all. I think he had nothing to do when he come on. But oh well. He didn't have too many chances at night. But a win's a win away at West Brom. Happy with that. Oliver Burke making a point. Coutinho loves that. Manny loves it. Yeah, I think I'm going to play Icardi again in this game and make Dolberg first choice for a while. I just think when I was playing him as a bit of a target man um, and he was coming short and, yeah, I just feel like Icardi was better at that because his bravery is a bit bigger. Whereas, now I'm playing almost, um, he's a forward run, dribbles, uh, he's not got a mark, so work rate doesn't matter. Uh, he's just more, what's the word, of a maverick, I think Dolberg's more of a maverick, and uh, he'll come up with a goal out of nothing more likely, using that with his look at dribbling, finishing, technique, pace, it's really good. Uh, and I'm really pleased the card is kicked on, because it means I'm not overly thinking about selling him anymore like I was but uh yeah have a West Brom again <laughs> right, we're gonna go Benkovic we're gonna keep with Van Dyke because no I think we'll do Subotic Van Dyke uh, Benkovic had plenty of games and he needs to kick on again De Jong Moranchuk I think Kate is back after this one yep uh so we're back to full strength yeah left Right, Cardi, and then we'll put Dolberg in as first choice. We'll keep the centre half pairing for a fair while. Where is the start? 
disbanded. Okay, right, so we're going to kick. We'll put one, two, or we'll put both wings on the bench and why not? Or we'll put Kate on there. And then, I so, yeah, Captain's De Young. How's my brother doing? Smashing it. Standard for my brother. Breeze. Again, they could have played us on the same day, but why? Wow, that would only save time, wouldn't it, for fuck's sake? Man, you're staying there with me. So, West Brom. Yeah, I'm thinking. Hmm. Thinking B team, B team if they're fit enough. Uh, and then first team for the two Champions League games. Only because, obviously, the chance of me winning the league from here, uh, my brother isn't going to drop many points. Uh, if he does, it'll be maybe six. He may drop six or seven. And I just don't think, and one of them may be against me. I don't think he'll drop enough points between the end of the season. And I know a lot of you are thinking, why don't you just play the same way as him? And I could do, and I could get very similar results, but I'm really striving for the perfection. And that includes not being champ man. I'm really striving for an unbeaten season, for a, you know, elite, a season where I'm just absolutely... I'm winning every game. And even the games where I'm bad, I can adjust and nick the win, you know, that kind of thing. I don't want to be in a situation where I'm letting RNG uh, win it for me. Uh, we're going to take, yeah, we've, the kid, kid's going to go in. 25 players. Anyone we're missing? I'm not putting any new signings in. I've got, I think my squad's pretty much done. Ah, okay. No, 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 no. It's not. Woodburn's in the reserves. I could leave it like that, but Solanke's really harsh that he's not in European squad. But with Woodburn now, I can play him on the wing push. Bobby forward if I need to. Is there someone I'm missing? Or someone in here that shouldn't be in it? So I've got back up, back up. My third choice is I would burn parking and fossil denser, and that's it, right? That should, yeah, that's it, that's 25. Yeah, fine. The plan. The plan this kid. I don't want you to play that kid, I want you to play this kid. The hot prospect that I just spent money on. If I have like three or four games at the end of the year that mean nothing in the league, I may give that kid a few games. Typical double snatch drop. I've got my brother. What are you? What's my fixtures? I've got home, home. Ah, oh, fuck me. We've got about five minutes left. And I've got... Well, we're playing on the same, same day again. Really? Mignolet. We actually got another move to another Chinese club. Um... Yeah, everyone's okay. Finally get a home game against West Brom. Yeah, it's not very exciting. Cardi, good boy. This is, I don't like the fact we're playing not playing well, but this is more like what I'm used to. Uh, a low volume of shots on certain days and I still score. Why are we playing so crap? Chambers. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go with that. I'm 
not change it. I want to see how my team handle it without going defensive. Keeper played well, team played poor. Not happy with Moran trick in that in that role. Really not happy. But we got the win. And it's, it's the cup anyway, so it's not even the world. But it's very interesting. Let's put that same team in, in the league. See how we do. I called a kid up from the reserves. The left winger. Not the new one, the old one. Playing. The new one can sit in the reserves for a while. Our latest scores, as we're about to do. He's one of them up, but he's down at 10. And he got he got a pen. Early doors. <laughs> You're gonna hold out for the win. He did, he won it. Ground out a win. Yeah, it didn't even shot on target. Leeds, lovely. Three months I'd actually gone. Oh my god. New Premier League record when I'm bruv. So this kid you know you had a good training port corner but um, Deserve it to be fair, and you're in my European squad, so it makes sense. Oh, Tavia, who's knackered? I didn't even check that. I'm an idiot. Okay, there's how many you played 23, Anderson, a lot more. Okay, uh, number three sub, he's gonna be four. I don't know, four. Tino's played more than Manny, right? Yeah, so we're gonna start the same team. Tavia will probably come off for Cater. Okay, we'll just start. Might be the start, we'll see. Because he's blowing. It is a bit of a risk, but like I said, I, the league isn't as important to me anymore because I just don't think I'm catching my brother. So I will prioritise the other cups just to make sure I, I lose my next game. What? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, the, <laughs> he's showed me a picture of his um, the news reporter saying he'd won 13 games unbeaten. And the last time... They did that, he didn't win. He drew those to me, so he didn't lose, but yeah. Well on a cardi. Don't know, he got a good report and then his stats dropped. Well, fuck so. Uh, this is good for some of the lads, because I'll be honest, when my form was so bad early in the season, I really overused what I considered to be my uh, my first team players. So um, he actually got out of play really well. I really overused my first team players. It's really good for these guys to be getting games. Uh, fucking chamber. Oh. Got bad for him. He's never. He's he's always been a solid player for me. Uh, I'm not going to knock him, but. He's never going to be someone that I can, it looks like he's going to be first class. Oh my god, you're dying on your ass. Okay, we're going to start Cater. It's too knackered, I can't. Uh, I'm not, do I even bother with him? No, I don't think I do bother with you even on the bench. It's too knackered. Okay. So it's just Cater and the centre arms we got to watch out for. They're playing this, I can't remember. Like I said, we start off normal if we have to. I don't mind changing to mix or whatever, but I don't think I need to with the shape. But um, you never know. Maybe I do. Mixed is never a bad option, especially if you're not scoring. But this is why I love, look, I've got wide men and I'm hoping they take advantage of the space. Yeah, wingers are seeing the ball enough. 
keep going I guess just like a goal's coming to be fair I may have, uh, no, we're, we're having loads of chances now let's have a look at the finish Nabby good boy uh, for fucking hell right to start go on you play there just for the rest of the game I think Nabby's going to be fine uh, yeah centre halves and Nabby are going to be fine I just hope we don't concede now oh, good boy team's played really well there especially the centre mids really pleased with this that's what I want have a look. Van Dyke's back to it. I think hard tackling has really helped these guys. Really has. And look, a lot of these boys can't take it. So there you go. As much as I don't think hard tackling should be a thing, I think you have to kind of use it and take your lumps. That was my brother getting on. Oh, you lucky bastard. Matt, when you watch this, realise how many red cards you've had away from home for that position because it fucking makes a difference. I'll tell you, on away games when you ain't got a fucking, when you've got an easy one. What? Thibaut Courtois, what is seen? Yeah, I'm straight enough to live up to the hype or whatever it is. Yeah. Right. Let's press that. Carrius is on much better form, it's more like it. Right. Okay, Caracol, Vaisa. We're going to Super Teach Man Dyak. The Sart. Stats have dropped. I fucking don't like it. I really don't. Anyway, uh, Cater. Anderson. There'll be Coutinho, Mane, and Dolberg. I'll give Dolberg a chance. Coutinho, Mane, Dolberg. Benkovic, Horn, Dion, Dion, Forby, Moran Trip. I'll be honest, I'm making another four, but he hasn't really earned it. But let's see how we go. Uh, seven. Not pleased to start stats drop, but. He's coming back into the team now, so. Yeah. I'll take another look at my coaches at the end of the year, I think, and decide then whether they need to go. And I think Beardsley does definitely need to go. I think I'll do that now. I, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, but it just hasn't worked. He hasn't improved again. We've got an extra player on uh, person on this list now. Technique space, but he's you know that's just I think I may go for John Collins. Just got that discipline that I love. Two million for a coach. Jesus Christ. Man City one. Yeah, and I, I kind of respect John Collins for his playing career. Um yeah, that's, that's you know is he injury prone? Because wow, what did I accept? It's a lot of money. A lot more than I thought he'd be, but and I'm not sure I absolutely have to sign him just yet, but. We'll see. Fucking Desar, mate. You are an absolute pansy. It's a facial injury as well. It's not even... Ugh. I'll do that. Um, right, Captain. It's going to be De Jong. Right. Let's see how we get on, I guess.
fitness wise, all right. Playing a nice solid game against Bayern. Just want to get that goal, really. Good boys, keep going. They haven't got that goal, which is a shame. Tino's doing okay, but not great. No one's playing badly. And we're out playing. This weren't for Neuer. So we'll definitely be winning this. We've got a big break after this, so I don't think we have to worry too much. Unless they've added the Leeds game in, actually. They may have done that. Come on, lads. We've got to get the goal. We've been by far the better team. Fucking deserved. Yes, boys. De Jong. Well, well, well. Deserved that. Really did deserve that. Plays fantastic. Controlled it perfectly. Uh, yeah, and it's such a tough group that you got to win your own games. So, couldn't get a draw away then. I think we needed there. Yeah, they've added the lead game in. The way De Jong's playing in holding midfield, I'll be honest, the Sark could struggle to get back in the team. I just really like his stats, even though they've dropped. Um, him being two-footed as well, and he has played brilliantly when he's been in. Is he still selling? Is he selling? He's jumping, he does need to come up, but he's got so many lovely stats. It'd be a shame to lose him if he sold him. Alright, let's watch my brother's game. Yeah, deserved that. Really pleased. Really played well. Yeah, if you're watching Ray, no more attacking, mate. Just need to play around with it. I promise you. It does come good. It hasn't got to be a complete flop. But it is infuriating. I'm not saying mine's there yet because it totally isn't. But I will, mate. I will get it there. I promise. Because what I don't want is when I play good teams, I want this to happen. Matt will probably win it now, I said that. Score one fucking goal or something. I wonder if my brother is actually here. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, he's still playing the same way. Well, he was outplayed first half. Let's see if he comes back into it. Pulisic. He probably needs to come off um, attacking and pick them off. And it's really hard to change a style once you've been built into one way. And maybe, I could be being asked, you just might be playing shit, the Lit's having a bad game. You just may be playing shit, but these, these are a lot of my issues with the, uh, the uh, all-out attacking. There's no gears. You're 1-0 down and you're playing poorly, now you've got to change it. So you've only, it's only really personnel or the style of passing. He's got, he's got it back though, he's playing much better now, I don't know what he changed, but he's certainly done the job. And to be fair, Loris did, uh, was on an 8 half time, even though they were out of play, so Loris kept him in it. Who did he change? Changed his midfield, there you go, Jimmy midfield and striker. And that ended up not doing too bad, but it's a bit harsh for Dortmund because they dominated most of that game. But there you go. In the end, not a bad result at all for my brother. Uh, yeah, B team as much as possible for the next game. Against Leeds. And then... First team back in Europe. It's craziness, but it's needed. I 
don't really need a fresh coach. Let's uh, build him up. Hey, nice. Yeah. Let's hope that new coach freshens things up for the players as well because. Um, hold up, who was. Beardsley was helping with his goalkeepers, wasn't he? I didn't even check. I didn't even check that actually. Collins, what's your goalkeeping coach been like? That's poor. It's a lot of money for a fucking coach, but I've got the money. Uh, I'm gonna put you on that as well. I'll put Jarrod on goalkeeping because he does shoot in training anyway. Might as well fucking join in. Um, I'll leave the defence as is. Again, they haven't played many games up to now and they've been really solid. Uh, De Jong, just crack on, mate. You're having a great run of games. Uh, back up team, Woodburn, Firmino, Nakadi, Benkovic, Horn. We're going to go. And it's in okay, yeah. It's going to be Kayla, isn't it? Anderson's stamina's gone up, lovely. We're going to have four, five, six, seven. Captain De Jong. Okay, Leeds play 4 4 2. I don't, I don't know how this formation, I mean, I know my one was solid against it, really reliable, but every formation reacts differently. So I don't know if it's going to be a flat track bully against it, but uh, I'm hoping it will be. I've got a feeling it's not going to be as convincing because I don't have the support man. I know it sounds silly because I've got a defensive midfielder instead, but that will just allow pressure on if they don't have that attacking midfielder. But we should still be in a much better. I'm just over overanalyzing. Uh, De Jong's playing next game, so but we're not playing until Wednesday, and it's Saturday, so it's not the end of the world. Um, just check the fitness. Marange, I'll tell you what, fucking hell. It's really struggling. It's really struggling. I can't believe how bad Marange uh, playing in that role. You just, it, with his stats, he looks like he's perfect for it. I'm not taking him out. Come on, boys, you can do it. Tavio, you're not even playing that bloody Moran trip. How bad is it? It's not that bad. It's pretty bad, to be fair. Anyone that hasn't had much of a game, come on, let's do it. Let's put Navi on, try and win it. Ten to go. Fuck it now. Let's keep right a blind up. Danny Ward. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, brilliant. There you go, there's Karma. But he's standing there and should have fucking played me, mate. Maybe right. We played really well, but we didn't concede, which is nice. Really worried about this boy. With the way he's playing. I mean, look at him, why wouldn't he enjoy that role? Hmm. Maybe he's more of a support man than he's a midfielder. Very surprising that. That probably wouldn't have I was at Man United. Okay. Yeah. So B team get another game. At home to Leeds. Yeah, Lewandowski's having a much better season.
be one of our screws out. As you play, yeah, it's steady, it's steady. The hay let them down really. Only four shots on target. It's had a good season though, as you'd imagine. 46 million, most expensive. Oh, it's not the most expensive one. Right? Get him in now, so I think it's a good, a good bit of business. I, I mean, it's not coming through yet anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's about to nice do my own. Yeah, you get your run when you get your run, mate. Karis playing well. You love a replay. Yeah. His decision making is up to 20 o'clock. Well, I was, yeah, Sam, I just love a, I love a replay, don't I? And I was just explaining to him the fact that it was uh, Danny Ward who I just sold to them. He just he done me in. So, all right, let's watch my brother's game. Yeah, like I've always said, um, I can't stop super keepers. I mean, having normal attacking or normal mentality will mean you generally, generally will score with less chances if they're going to get super keeper. But um, it's not always a given. Like my brother's world class players who can score any minute. So, but what I haven't done is overcommitted and been caught on a break. So that's that's generally the idea. And if I wasn't playing well there, I could have gone attacking, so I was still got the option before I was losing, or if I was only one net down. I used to do it all the time, be like attacking with quality players, and so I'm like one nil down or two nil down, and then you had to change it and try and get back in, and if you were lucky, you managed to make a draw, and it's like, fuck's sake. And I just kept thinking there's got to be a better way around it, but yeah. And like I said, I've been playing a wibwob defence for many years with my formation that was working really well. And now I know why. Because wibwob just really is um, very strong. Very strong. And uh, yeah, it kind of made it really help my defence out not conceding on a regular basis. And I know that now. So I don't use it because it feels like I'm not cheating, but I don't want it to be easy. Um, yeah, I'm looking just to play at its base, the game at its base level and try and win that way, if you like, and make it as, as real as possible. Very nice, bro. His stats go up nicely. His technique's still not low enough, but the off-the-ball and finishing are really nice. Shit, sorry, bro. Clicking on your players, and I said I wouldn't do that no more. So hard to remember. Got Pogba. I want to see how he's progressed because he he hadn't he de, underdeveloped under Man U before my brother signed him in this. Uh, like his tackling was 14 and off the ball was like pretty poor. So I'm wondering if uh, his stats have jumped up since he's been playing in my brother's formation. Because I think Jose had him playing like defensive midfield going forward one in this, and he's a centre mid. He can do it. I just don't think uh, it's what he really wants to do. Yeah, he's still roughly the same to be fair. Spanking Dortmund. Ah, uh, he's in a nice position. Then they've got to win one. He's got one home game after this. He's only got to win one more, and he's been beating the last game. So they've already won the group. Nice. So at least Dortmund or Juve are out. Even though I don't think Dortmund are as strong in this one. That's saying that they've got some lovely players. Those two centre mids alone, Beagle and the Hood, fantastic. We all know Bamiang's quality. Uh, defense is pretty shit to be honest. 
That's that's a obliterated the oppo. Yeah, still fucking got Matongan in there. I know he's on an eight and score, but he's fucking hell, what a performance. Always gonna concede. Not my brother, just always you get about six or seven goals and always throw a goal in for your position just for a laugh. Uh yeah, great result. Well done. Nick to last minute away, well not last minute, but Nick to draw last game. Yeah. Very, very nice. Come on. Come on. I don't want all that. Oh, my left back's getting a run. I've got a way up by him. Right, so I'll take a draw right now because they're bastards in this. I suppose they don't have Lewandowski anymore or anything, but it's still good, good, good. Uh, your back, so you can go on the bench. De Jong, the Sart, he's not he's back in the day. Keita, Anderson, Coutinho, Mane, Dolberg. Cut his stats went back down, that's fucking annoying. Uh, we're gonna put. Don't even wanna put you on the bench, you've been a fucking liability. And you've played really well, right? You. Four. Six. No, that's stupid, yeah, every four. I need more centre midfield options to be fair. I'm going to have to put you in there. And then you there, okay. Okay. They're playing that, okay. I seem to do quite well against it last time, but we'll see. We shall see. Great start. Sadio, he's had a bit of a hit and miss season, but I have been messing about my tactics a lot to try and get the right balance. I'm hoping this brings the best out of him and him and Coutinho. And it seems to have done well so far for him, Coutinho, Mane, Keita and the striker. A defence seems to be like not pushing forward and hard tackling. So, so far I feel like I've got the right balance. De Jong, I'm one of the only players I don't really have much of a sub for. I could, I know what I could do if he doesn't kick on. I may have to do it. What's his stats saying? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Uh, captain is going to be... <laughs> Who the fuck is the captain going to be? Uh, a bit of a dodgy thing to do in the middle of the game. Coutinho, really? Not no one. Okay, Captain's Coutinho apparently. Not the right to pick, but he's on a seven rather than a six. I'll push Shubitich into the midfield just to fucking be a block. Uh, De Jong's not having the best game or winning many challenges. And I know Subitich can do that just as a, a one off. Um, Dolberg, what well, I'm. Um, my centre mid. There is a dilemma. How, how is he playing? Kata and the kid. He's doing okay. The kid's kind of getting tired. It's a big game though, and I really don't want to talk about it too much. Alright, we'll do a change. We'll do a change just to. Oh, fuck it, it's in the game anyway. That's a great result and a solid performance, really happy with that. Uh, I got home at Barca and I left. Uh, right. Is he a leader? He is a leader, so I can always put him as it in future. Good to know. Oh, I've qualified, sweet. Yeah, that's pretty much up me. I some Barca through, innit? That's a tough group, really pleased with that. What's wins on this game? Away at Brighton. Okay. I may rest him for this one because he's played a lot of games. Uh, I'm going to take Subutic back out, it's been really good, but, yeah. Uh, 
angles will come back in. I just uh, I like the uh, pace, and he's a really good defender. And he's not going to get sent off. Here we go. Trust I seek, and I find in you. Every day for us, something new. Save after this one. Uh, should be fine. Just check the fixtures. Because I know I've got the cup. It's away in the cup, isn't it? Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just let you go. He has played on uh, longer than he said. Yeah, no worries, bro. Got work in the morning, all right. About an hour and a half in this, this vid, not too bad. And I feel much more cathartic after having a session that has gone quite well for me. Because I'll be honest, this has been in my mind, drilling a hole through my brain, knowing how badly it went. Start here. Nightmare. Um, angles, well done. Yeah. So, yeah, got to wait at Brighton. Come back to that. I'm already 2 0 up. It's not in the world. B team, B team. Uh, first team. And then if I'm already 2 through to I won't bother with uh, first team. Yeah. I may even, yeah, he's played a lot of games. I'll do that. I'll rest him from this one. Van Dyke, Angels, Coutinho, Mane. Yeah, I don't want to take the piss too much, but I know my fullbacks played a hell of a lot of games earlier in the season. So, so. You're out? You said after this one. Yeah, he's out of game. He's not even in control of his team. He's at the Swansea show. He probably will win, but... Uh... Yo. I just played my Bayern game, and you went, save after this one as the weekend was coming up. And I was like, yeah, it makes sense. We've got League Cup. We're already both through. And then you just said, I'm out. I was like, oh, my microphone's right in my face. Yeah, but my Bayern game had already finished. So you said save after this one, like, because we were approaching the weekend. Oh, and... Well, yeah, but I've already, I'm already in-game kicking off, and you, I can't go back when you... I haven't played your game. The computer's about to play your game. I can't go back. But you're at home to Swansea, so if you don't win that, then fuck it, no, I don't know. But I'll let you know how it gets on. Give me two seconds. Let me play. I'm away to Brighton. Oh, I thought you was like saying, yeah, I'm away to Brighton. we got League Cup. They're both easy. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's, it's a lag. It... No, I get that. But obviously, um, I didn't get the message till well after the, like, till after we was approaching the weekend games. But um, I'll, I'll tell you how you're getting on. You're one new up after 13 minutes. I've had a man sent off. Uh, no, sorry, Brighton have had a man sent off against me, so this is a piece of piece. Um, man, you were losing 2 0, 4 0 to me. You're still 1 0 up. You're 2 0 up. Yeah, but you've got League Cup next round anyway. You just rest everyone anyway. But yeah, I, there's not much I could have done about it. I was in game when you said I'm out, and I'm like, well, why are you out? You, got, you want to say what's easier. But anyway. Yeah, I'll find you back when it's all done and I'll let you know what's going on. But you're tuning up at home, so you shouldn't be a problem. All right, wait. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> My brother sent me a message uh, towards the end of the Bayern game, as you probably heard. And, uh, 
Yeah, and I didn't get it until it was until coming towards the Brighton, the weekend games, and I assumed he meant for uh, to save after these games, as you probably guessed. So, yeah, just a bit lost in translation there, really, but no big deal. He's Luckily, he had a really easy home game, but like you said, the only thing that would be bad is if they played the wrong players or got injuries, but it didn't look like he, that was a great point. Um, he had no sending-offs, no injuries. Um, no one seems overly knackered, and they've got a Wednesday, so he should be fine. Uh, that's a great uh, performance, but, I mean, I got lucky there with sending off really early. But, yeah, please played much better this session. Um, players' forms have really improved. Uh, so many people have uh, stepped up, which has made me feel much better about everything I believe in with normal mentality. Um, I haven't lost a game this session. I had a couple of um, iffy draws, like weight of leads, which was weird. I did a super keeper, one max keeper, but that's, that happens. Uh, man of the match for Ben Foster. I didn't play particularly great there, but I still didn't lose when I didn't play well, which was nice. Uh, that game was last session, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was last session. So other than that, I won every single game, including some really tough games in Europe, home and away against Bayern, and which I deserve to win both games, which is really nice. So um, really consistent. The clean sheets are coming, which is lovely. Karras has done a real good job. So really good session. We're coming back to the League Cup. Um, we've got a lot of cut games to look at that, which is nice to be involved in. And uh, yeah, so I'm through in the Champions League. I've two up this form. I've got leads to come. My brother's, he's flying in the league. He's doing really well, to be fair to that. And he's two all, oh, uh, there's Chelsea. So yeah, he should be fine. He's got a home game to come. He's through in the Champions League, pretty much. Just needs a point, maybe. And uh, FA Cup, he's already through. I've just got a replay. So yeah, it's all going really well. Uh, I'm going to save... And we probably won't be out of place till maybe Friday, which is about, uh, what's today? It's Tuesday, so three days away. So hope you enjoyed it. It's not a long video, so it may be better for some of you. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, any tips, comments, anything like that, anything you want to put in there. Just have a laugh, really, innit? And uh, speak to you soon. Bye.